My job as the medical futurist is to pinpoint specific trends about the future of medicine and healthcare. And just like every year, now I summarize for you the six most important, to me, most exciting trends to watch for in 2024. Number one, the rise of generative AI platforms for healthcare. In this trend, I'm talking about chatbots and generative AI-based platforms, apps, services, specifically made for patients for chronic disease management. Imagine patients having access to a health assistant that would give them insights, suggestions, and answer any questions they might have, even about micro decisions in their lifestyle or big ones about their health and disease management. That's a big opportunity that generative AI platforms can bring into the lives of patients. And I expect to see a lot of practical examples from companies in 2024. Number two, multimodal large language model for clinicians. I always say that medicine is multimodal, meaning that physicians have to deal with different types of data streams, image, video, text, PDFs, documents, studies, and seeing the patient in at once. But large language models have been UD model for now. But multimodal large language models, meaning chat GPT-like tools that could deal with a range of content types, video, sound, image, text, and even big documents, would mean the ultimate interfaces for physicians to interact with AI. So physicians won't be able to learn to use every single AI-based approved medical tool in their hospital, but they will be very much able to learn how to be better at prompt engineering, meaning how to use one interface through which they would be able to interact with all the different AI tools used by the hospital ecosystem. So expect a lot from the multimodal large language model field. Number three is going to be blood testing reimagined. There are many micro trends that come together to support and underscore the importance of blood testing, especially at home. One of these micro trends is about how at home lab testing has become a big thing during and after the pandemic, because hundreds of millions of people learned how to do a COVID antigen test at home. A new market started to rise because people learned a method that now companies can build upon. The second micro trend that contributes to this big third trend is about how companies can develop technologies that allow patients to optimize obtain blood samples at home. Saliva and other samples, it has been a part of the whole at-home lab test business for years, but blood is a new thing. And companies like Tesso have been making it accessible for patients to at least obtain small samples of blood for genetic testing or, for example, for allergy testing, again, remotely. And the third microtrend here is around companies that develop robotic devices, autonomous blood drawing technologies, Essentially meaning that instead of a phlebotomist or a nurse taking your blood sample, now a robot would do that. They never make a mistake. They use ultrasound and LED lights and they make sure that they will find the vein they are looking for. It might sound creepy for now, but get ready in the coming years to get your blood sample taken by an actual robot. Number four is evidence-based digital therapeutics. It's still new for all of us that not just medications and drugs can take part in a treatment or therapy, but technologies can do the same. A smartphone app, an online service, a generative AI platform, a sensor, a wearable, acting like a treatment is really amazing for all of us, but that's what digital therapeutics can bring to the market. This market is expected to grow to $30 billion by 2030. These digital therapeutics have been around for years, but the evidence started to grow just in the last couple of months. It's important because if there are no clinical trials and evidence-based studies and peer-reviewed papers backing the claims of companies developing digital therapeutics, then no healthcare professional can prescribe these as treatments for their patients. But evidence started to grow. Mayo Clinic, in partnership with Hilarium, showed a 40% reduction in the three months hospitalization of patients, plus a reduction in systolic blood pressure by using the digital therapeutics developed by that company. Number five, the blood pressure evolution or revolution. I've been talking about this for years, but the future of blood pressure lies not in blood pressure cuffs, but in the PPG technology, photoplethysmography, the same technology that your smartwatch uses to access your heart rate and do basic fitness tracking. These skin patches, 
bracelets and smartwatches measuring blood pressure almost 24 hours a day means a game changer for blood pressure management. As hundreds of millions of people live with high blood pressure, it would be amazing to give them more access to the data they already own but had no interfaces to access them unless digital and the old traditional pressure-based blood pressure cuffs. But now with these skin patches and smartwatches, they will be able to make better decisions on the go. And number six, AI digital twins. I'm not talking about the digital twins that you have been hearing on this channel for many years, you know, creating a virtual heart model based on a patient's specific radiology scans, and then testing the effects of a medication on that virtual heart before the patient would get the same medication. No, no, I'm talking about digital twins, the ones that you saw about me when I created one with an AI company. A twin that acts like me and talks like me, but in the virtual realm, not in the metaverse, but through videos, for example. And especially the one I made with Heijen, where Hola. I started speaking so in Spanish, Alberto even Mesh. though I don't speak Spanish yet, I'm just learning. And even the lip sync is there, so it's a perfect representation of how, even using the cultural nuances, we could create videos without language barriers. In telemedicine, it would have a huge impact on improving, facilitating the doctor-patient relationship. Well, these are my six trends to watch for 2024. As usual, I will be here with you, be at the Medical Futurist, will be here with you, informing you about all the knowledgeable insights and trends, everything you need to know about when it comes to the future of medicine and healthcare, especially about digital health and artificial intelligence. And I hope that you will come with me on this journey in 2024 too. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the digital health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.